Hi, this is Shadi. The Judo Gi is a crucial element for our training. We rely on it to develop our techniques and ourselves. Many call it a kimono, but the dogi and the kimono are two different things. Do not get the two mixed up. In the past, warriors would take off their armor during training and would train kata wearing only a kosode and a hakama. When training midaregeiko or free fighting training, the warriors took off the kosode and hakama and were left only wearing the undergarments known as the juban and momohiki. So the first dogi might simply have been a pair of cotton undergarments. Around the beginning of the Meiji era, the dogi became more standard. Jujutsukas wanted to create a more durable training gear, so the first version of the keikogi was the following. The jacket, uwagi. From the shoulders to the waist, it was made out of bleached white cotton, the shoulders and sleeves were sewn with a navy blue crosses pattern. From the waist down, the stitching was done in a lattice work pattern. The collar, eri, was made from a piece of white, untrimmed cotton cloth that was folded four times and covered with a piece of navy blue cloth. At the armpits level, the jacket was open similar to traditional Japanese clothing, which might explain some of the judo grips we see today. The shorts had several names, Kinkakushi, testicle covering, Sanmi, inner secret, or Sarumata, monkey pants. They were doubled and a piece of string was passed between them at the waist. The belt, Obi, was made with a half piece of cloth folded lengthwise four times and sewn together. With more Westerners interacting with the Japanese people, the dogi had to adapt and evolve. The sleeves were wide and short. In order to avoid a disadvantage in a fight, they made the sleeves longer, narrower, and the jacket was sewn shut at the armpits level so the jacket can resemble more Western-style clothing. More foreigners were training jujitsu. So another reason to make the jacket longer was to quote, reduce the amount of nakedness, as foreigners back then did not show that much skin like the Japanese. The jacket was made with white cotton stitched horizontally with navy blue thread. Both the jacket and shorts were made longer. The new shorts covered the knees. When Kano Shihan would train, drop techniques like kataguruma were frequently used and so Kano Shihan would constantly scrape his shins and knees. Around the year 1906, Kano Shihan ordered a dogi with even longer sleeves and longer pants for safety and modesty reasons. In 1918, Juichi Hayakawa, founder of the Ku Sakura Company, who was a specialist in sashiko or rice grain fabric, was able to make a new modification to make the judo gi even stronger and more durable. In 1986, Anton Giesing proposed the idea of a colored judo gi and in the 1990s, the IJF established the blue versus white format in competition. Today, the judo gi goes through rigorous inspection using a sokuteki to ensure a fair and ethical fight between the competitors. This was Shadi and thank you for listening. Please like this video if you found it informative. It's the easiest way to support me and consider supporting me on Patreon to keep this content going and evolving. Thank you.